Hey there, Marvel Universe. I'm Ben Morse from Marvel.com. I am here with writer Matt Fraction, who is in town. Now, Matt, what's uh, what's on your to-do list? Well, I think like everyone, I'm here to destroy Dan Slott. Dan Slott must be stopped. Uh, after that, you know, it's just hanging out, seeing friends, um, and enjoying uh, Dan's delicious, delicious tears. Now, coming out of Secret Invasion, uh, with Tony in kind of a new status quo, how does the tone of the book shift? Are you going to be more involved with the Marvel Universe? And how does writing Tony change? The mission statement of that first arc was to kind of tell an Iron Man story for people that had maybe seen the movie but had never read a comic. You know, I was kind of writing it for my dad, who I knew was going to go see the movie but had never read an Iron Man comic in his life. Um, so it was a kind of self-contained, largely self-contained, kind of keeps to itself kind of story. Um, but now, um, hopefully, we've, we've got people on board and they're with us, so we're going right straight to the heart of the Marvel U. Uh, and it's going to be a really great year for uh, Iron Man readers and a really bad year for Iron Man. So uh, uh, I think, I think, I think, uh, I hope people like it. It's the pitch that got me the job. Like, if this, this is the storyline that I think got me the Iron Man book in the first place. Not so much the first storyline, but the second one is where I've been building to. So I'm super excited and, and I'm, I'm, it's all outlined and I'm a couple issues in already and I'm, I'm having, the, the, uh, having a blast writing it. And uh, yeah, things get very, very bad for Tony Stark. By the way, there's gonna be like Iron Man covers and art back here the whole time. That was a good one. Do you like that was my favorite? That one right there. Oh, look out. Going to the other side of the country. You're working on X-Men. Yes. Now you're a few months into your X-Men stint. You've kind of settled in. How are you feeling about uh, your, your, your comfort level on that Uncanny X-Men book? I love it. I am super comfortable, uh, which is weird because I expected the exact opposite. And every time I finish a script, I'm like, I felt way easier than I, than I thought it would be. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And have uh, um, um, the, I, I, I understand now, you know, I was, when, I, when I was a kid, you would read, you know, the kind of that epic Claremont run and there'd be, um, a plot thread that he'd leave dangling for like 40 issues and then suddenly something would come back and you're like, oh right, I remember that from eight and a half years ago. Uh, uh, the Beast went out for a sandwich and now he's back. And like, I get now how that happens because there's so many characters and there's so much, you, you kind of, you can get lost in these little cul-de-sacs and then suddenly you realize you haven't, the Beast has been getting a sandwich for, for eight years and, and you, you bring him back. So it's great, it's, everything's focused, everything has a, has a purpose and identity and, and a tone and we're all kind of, moving en masse in this one direction and, and uh, it's a blast. I love writing it. Now, <clears throat> another thing about the X-Men, kind of being on the other side of the country, being a little bit removed from the Marvel Universe for the last year, is that something that's going to change in 2009? Are they going to be a little more interactive with the Avengers and yeah, everyone else? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I don't, you know, somehow San Francisco is more in the heart of the Marvel Universe than upstate New York where they were always sort of isolated from everything. This year is very much about Uncanny and, and the X-Verse and mutant kind being pulled back into the heart of, of, uh, of, 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 of stuff, uh, uh, there's going to be a lot. Uh, we're not going to feel quite so isolated anymore. The, the events uh, uh, of the rest of the Marvel U are absolutely going to echo into the Uncanny uh, uh, universe, and Uncanny is going to echo right back out. Very cool. Well, Matt, thank you very much for your time. And uh, we know you got some work to go do, so we're going to let you do that. Until next time, I'm Ben Morse, and this is Marvel, your universe. I am Matt Fraction. Uh, Marvel, your universe. Marvel, your universe.